Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining, and I hope you are already subscribed. If not, if you can click on that, then you'll get notifications on when my videos come out. All right, so today, I don't know if you recognize this person on the screen, but it's me. <laughs> it's me with my headband, which I don't have one on today, um, in that dress that I've, one of my favorite dresses. And so we are gonna do me really, really big, and um, it's for a special post because I'm almost at 25,000 followers on Instagram. So thank you so much. Um, all right, how do we do this? First of all, I worked with two amazing um, artists. So I'm gonna show you really quickly because if you wanna do this for your party, this is where you would go to do it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. First up is Katoon Studio. So she is the one that did this for me so it's going to be on the second page and it is this it's a cute custom digital cartoon portrait you can let her know what it is that you're looking for <clears throat> but you can see it's so cute anyway so you get to her because she doesn't do svg files so that's where you're going to go to my next one <laughs> my next favorite um, Etsy shop. So on um, here, Cuts, Crafts, and More, Louise. She is awesome. She took that, turned it into an SVG file, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. And you may already recognize her work because I've been working with her lately because I know you guys are always asking, where did I get the file from? And then I go look on Etsy and that shop's no longer there or that listing's no longer there. So hopefully working with Louise, we will cut down on that and then we can work together on the same file and make it all work. So both shops were amazing to work with. So anyway, let's get started. All right. So here's our first, I mean, you know, you upload it, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, in order. So our first step is how big can we make this? So a couple things when you're looking at this, I, and Louise is great for this because if you tell her, when you place your order, if you tell her, I want to make this character big, she sort of already knows because she's worked with me on a few things and she's watched my videos. So I appreciate you, Louise. Um, she knows what we're looking for. Like we want not a lot of pieces, but we want, you know, enough pieces so that we can make it seamless. So what she did for me was she added panels to the skirt. Um, so that each one of these panels can be about 12 inches and not have any seams in it. The hair, same thing. I asked her, you know, the hair is going to be long. I'm going to need it in a couple of pieces. And she still made it big chunks, but it looks like hair, cute hair, cuter than my hair. Um, so she's great to work with. Now, after, with all that being said, the problem areas that I see, or not really problem areas, but red flag areas, right? Um, things we need to watch out for is the face. The face is round, so and I'm not gonna want any seams on there. So if my face, I'm gonna make my face, I'm gonna make the figure as big as I can with the face being around 11 and a half inches. But that's still gonna be big, because if you count 11 and a half inches, let's round down to 10, okay? So if this is 10 inches, this is another 10 inches, this is another 10 inches. I mean, we obviously at 30 inches, it'll be no problem, right? Um, we'll see how big we can get it. So first thing is, I already know it's at 42 inches because I couldn't wait to get started. At 42 inches, my face is getting really close to 11 and a half inches. This is definitely the problem area. Nothing else is. So I thought at first the arm, but the arm is really um, thin and you can kind of cut it diagonally, but it's really the face that's gonna be an issue. Everything else is gonna be perfect, but let me show you how I determined that. We knew the face was gonna be an issue, right? So the thing that I would do is I would go to the one with the face, right? This is the skin one, and then click contour, and basically hide everything but the face until we know what size we wanna do. So I'm gonna hide it all, okay? So it's gonna leave us the face, and you see the face is 11.1 .1 by 11.4, just right there. I mean, we can make it a little bit bigger. Technically, as long as one side is under 11 and a half, then the other side can hit really close to 12 and you can still cut it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So, um, you know, with that being said, let's select all 
and let's change this to 43 inches and see you know what that gets us so now let's look at the face 11.4 and 11.6 so we're still good let's click select all and let's see if we can go to 44. so at 44 that's not going to work 11.6 is too big so we're going to go back and select all and go from 44 to 43 inches oops so that's kind of how you determine i would pick the one piece that you know is going to be your you know your red flag and then size you know keep moving up to see how big can we get it without any issues so this is going to be 43 inches i'm going to save it as and 43 inches and i'm going to take a picture wearing the same dress wearing the shoes and the headband and then i asked her to add that sign so that you can add anything it could say happy birthday uh congratulations whatever it is but i think it's just so stinking cute all right let's go back to this face and go to contour and bring everything back right so show all we need it all back and now let's look at this okay um so let's start breaking this apart right so we know um i mean i guess we should add the text in here right so let's go and put i'm just going to do 25k because that way it's going to be really big and so let's do oh wait a minute um my font ah uh, you know i love my happy popcorn so i'm going to try that I really need to find some new fonts because I keep going back to the same ones because I love it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put 25, K. And where is it? It's up here. Something like that. And then I'm gonna do an offset. And I always like my offset at 0.1. I feel like that's just thick enough to where I want it. Okay, so you apply um, the offset. Why is it not working? Okay, there. So my offset, I'm going to make it, hmm, I don't even know what color palette I want to do right now. Um, we'll get back to that. I don't know yet. Um, let's work on the rest of it, though. Let's see, how big is this? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's start breaking her apart. Let's ungroup and let's look at all the pieces. So the headband, the headband and the shoes go together. We're obviously going to break this apart, right? Because we don't need this to be um, all connected. It doesn't make sense. So I would, this is one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. I'm going to use contour to break it apart, okay? So when you use contour to separate pieces, however many pieces you want it to be so in this case we want it to be five separate pieces you need five copies of it total so here's one copy i'm going to go to duplicate two three four and five and then one by one we're going to contour and get rid of all the pieces so first one we're going to click contour and you can do it from this panel over here i find it's easy to go in order so if i hide all it's going to default and leave the top piece here so that's going to be my most right part of the headband okay and this is six inches by 6.8 perfect right let's go to the next piece go to contour you're going to click hide all it's going to always default to the top piece so we want the second piece not the first piece and then there's our second piece then go to the next piece, go to contour, hide all, and now we want the third piece, not the first piece. And just, you know, it's not that, it, I mean, it's, I don't think it takes that long. All right, next one. We're gonna leave the shoes now, right? So hide all, we want the shoe, not the first piece. And sometimes I slice, sometimes I contour. The reason why I chose contour today was the headband, the pieces are so close together, it would be hard to slice it and um, you know, be able to isolate each piece by itself. All right, so last piece, contour, hide all. I want the most bottom piece and not the top piece and the purple is all done. Okay, let's pull apart the next piece. So the next piece is um 
the skin. Now the skin, see that little piece right there? I'm so tempted to just, let's just get rid of it. Um, so we'll go to contour and we will hide this little piece. We don't need that. Um, so we'll need to separate the ears, the neck area, the arm, and the leg. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. So duplicate, here's our second one, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, let's go to contour. And we are going to hide all, actually show all. I want all those pieces. I'm gonna actually select these pieces because it's got the freckles and the eyes. So I wanna just kinda click on everything. It's gonna be quick to click on this and leave the face. So here is, mm, what happened? Where's my piece? What just happened? Contour. That's so weird. All right, let's click on it again. There's my face. Um, all right, so the face is 11.4 by 11.6. Let's do the next one. Oh, here's my face. <laughs> all right, on this one, we will, you know, I need this one. Let's go to Let's just go to contour, sorry. I'm losing my mind. Let's hide all. So it's gonna hide everything. What did it leave me? The round face. So let's do the ear and then I don't need the face. So here's my ear. Do the next piece, contour. Hide all, and then I want my little neck area. I don't want my face. So now I'm doing it off of the picture. So you can do it either way. Contour, hide all, and I want the arm. I don't want the face. There's my arm. My arm is seven inches by eight inches, so it's all good. And then now I have, oh, I have my other ear. Hide all, and I want this ear. I don't want the face. There's my ear, and then the last thing are my legs. Now the legs are two separate pieces. I can keep them together, or I can separate them. In this case, they're so close together, I'm just gonna keep them together. Hide all, I want the leg, leg, no face. Okay, so that's all done. Now the freckles, it looks like she made them dots. Oops. So here's my hair. We'll need to separate the hair as well. And my freckles are there. She made them little dots. Um, let's see how little they really are. They are tiny. I'm almost tempted to cut little little pieces and then not have the dots. So the freckles, they're open spaces, right? So if we put a little triangular piece underneath the skin, then my freckles will show through with like brown glitter cardstock or something. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these because I don't wanna keep track of uh, what is this, six, ten, ten little circle freckles. I'm just gonna delete that. Instead, uh-oh, did I delete something more than that? Hold on. I did. I accidentally touched something. Weird. Okay, there. I'm gonna delete this. And instead, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So let's do this. Let's get a triangle because it feels like, you know, the, the freckles are in a little triangle see that will cover my freckles right so i'm going to make that brown i'm going to duplicate it 
So instead of having really small cuts and keeping track of the small circles, right, this is gonna be so much easier. Three triangles or two triangles and a square-ish. Um, these will be easy. We'll flip over the face and just tape it on and the freckles will come through and it'll be super cute. Um, I'm gonna duplicate that and see if I can get this over here. Does that look okay? Um, I'm going to unlock this shape and make it bigger. Okay, that works, almost. There, so our freckles are done. Let's zoom out. Um, here are the eyes. And the eyes, you know, we wanna separate them too because right now it's it needs like a seven inch piece, but we don't really need that, right? But let's slice this one so you can see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna grab a circle and I'm gonna completely cover one piece. I'm gonna grab the two items and I'm gonna slice. So I'm slicing it apart. They will now be two individual pieces. So you can use your scrap paper more easily as well. So I definitely like doing that. So let's delete that. Oops. Delete that. Here are the two eyes. And I love the way she did the eyes. They're big pieces. Now, for the white. So those are my buttons as well as my eyes. Now see how the eyes have the two open pieces? She also made them white here. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for my freckles, okay? So what we're gonna do instead is I'm gonna grab these two pieces and I'm gonna duplicate it because <clears throat> I want the same pieces, but I'm gonna change it to white. And then I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna go to contour and hide all. Because now, <clears throat> instead of keeping track of those two small little white dots, I have one big circle or oval-ish piece that's gonna go underneath the brown, the white will shine through and it'll be perfect. On this one, I'm gonna do that as well, contour, hide all. So that covers the little specks in my eyes. We still want these pieces and then the dots. Um, so let's grab a square and slice these pieces apart. So I'm going to start with this bottom circle, this bottom dot, slice, and then I'm going to keep that there, okay? I'm going to move my white pieces over, and I'm going to show you how to slice in the same piece. This time I'm going to come from the right-hand side because I'm going to grab just my square and my white not touching this one at all. So that gives me the ability to slice because you can only pick up two items to slice at one time. So I call it slicing in traffic because there's a lot of stuff here, but if your mouse doesn't pick up on those two items or more than those two items, you can still slice. So you can see I sliced those three buttons without um, deleting any of this stuff. See? So now these pieces I can just move up here and I can delete this. We don't need those. Okay, and sorry, I'm just gonna text my husband. I can hear the oven. <laughs> can you get the cupcakes out? Okay, um, let's continue slicing. We wanna slice out the mouth, so I'm just gonna rotate this piece. Okay, so we're just slowly making our way through it. And then here, now we are left with just the eyes. We don't need the little circle pieces, right? But let's just do this. And slice. And we can just um, go to contour and hide those two circles. Okay, so there's one. Let's get rid of this and this. 
now we can grab this and just delete okay so this one we don't need those two circles we can just go to contour and we can hide them click on them so see we're just left with the sliver same thing with this one contour and get rid of the two dots and we're almost there okay here are my lips Let's see what's left. It should be the blue and the dots. So here are more dots. Now these three are separated. You know, we're gonna want to slice them apart or um, contour them out. And then let's look at this. This we can, I'm gonna just go to a cleaner area down here. And we've got, let's separate it just into two pieces right now the top and the bottom and see what we have. So for this one, let's go to contour. And let's click hide all. Um, and let's see what we have here. Nine by 10 and a half, perfect. That's just gonna cut, we don't even need to worry about it. Then on this one, let's get rid of the, why does it look like that? Let's go to contour and we'll hide the bottom and we'll keep the top together. Um, normally I wanna separate all this, but because it's me and it's my dress, I want those details so that it's just gonna cut like this. All right. Um, we have the sign. Let's see, we have that and the offset. So I need to determine the color. And then we have our sign. So I'm gonna do this white. I want my sign to be white. And I'm gonna do, hmm, what would make it pop? Um, No, I'm gonna do this sign. Man, I'm struggling. Um, maybe I'll match it with my headband. Do a purple. So my offset, I'm gonna do white. So here is my offset. I'm gonna make it white so it kind of pops. And then my 25K. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna do some different colors. I'm gonna do yellow, orange, and red. We'll try it. <laughs> And then our buttons, okay, so the buttons we still need to do, I think we're almost done. We only have the black background, so it's gonna look like that. Um, okay, so our little buttons. Let me get a square and we're gonna slice out those buttons and then we have our big background. Okay, so let's make this a little bit bigger and let's slice this first one. So the circles are, oh, I did, did it not slice for some reason? Okay, just took a second. Uh, the circles are how big? Oh, they're almost, I mean, they're big. They're almost half an inch. Um, okay. They just look really small because everything's so big, right? Okay, so let's delete that and then let's slice out the orange ones. And then one more to slice out, that's it. Okay, and see I'm in a lot of traffic right now, but I'm grabbing just the orange dot and the square and I'm able to slice. So easy peasy. And then, okay, these are all done. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this 
I'm gonna delete the slice results. We don't need those two things. Okay, so we've got those two. All right. Um. So now, oh, we still have the hair. Okay, the hair. Let's split the hair up into a couple pieces. So I would say one, like one section here, two, three, four, five, five pieces. So let's duplicate two, three, four, five. And we can weld some of this if it turns out that we don't need it to look like this. So let's go to contour and let's just kind of like piece things together. Like these three can go together, right? So let's click on what we don't want in this one. So I'm clicking on that, this, this, this. Okay, so this is seven inches by 6.3. So I'm tempted to weld it right here and right here. So it's still gonna have like the, um, the little slices, but it'll be one piece. So we'll do that um, after we split up the whole hair. So let's get back to the hair and go to contour. And it might be easier. I should have just done hide all and then select the pieces I want. So this is one big piece. We're gonna keep it separate, cause yeah, it's 10 inches by 12 inches. Let's go to the next one, contour, hide all, and we'll keep this whole section together. These five pieces. Okay, so seven and a half by 12. So this is big, but we can cut this. I think if we turn this diagonally, we'll be able to cut it all as one piece. And then we have, let's go to contour. Hide all, we still need this piece. We don't need this piece. 11.7 by five and a half. I mean, these are big pieces. All right, let's go to contour, our last piece. So we're gonna hide all, and we have this piece left and this piece. We don't need this. And this is eight and a half by 12.7. So let's unlock this for a second, turn it diagonally and see 11 and a half by 9.7, perfect. So let's go and bring in some circles and we're going to, Instead of having however many pieces of my hair, we're now going to break it down to just five pieces, okay? So I'm going to make this really small, and let's zoom in so that we can really see this. Okay, so here is my little circle, and let's weld these two pieces together. Oops, where's my circle? I'm going to bring it over like that. So you see how it's, I'm gonna make it smaller. Maybe something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna weld it. Where is, my mouse is not. What? Maybe my mouse is dying. Got to be kidding me. Okay, hold on. I need my mouse and I don't even know how to open this thing. Got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it worked. Okay. So let's grab these two and weld. So now instead of having two pieces here, it's going to become one and it's gonna look like that, right? You're not gonna really notice it, but you're gonna still have like the really, really pretty piece right there. All right, so let's bring in another dot. And maybe we don't weld all of it together, but we weld some of it together. Um, like that little corner. Up. 
That looks good. So instead of, you know, two separate pieces, this will be one. It will still have the opening right here to make it look really good. Okay, so you get the picture. I'm gonna weld it. And then now let's go to the big background. Okay, we'll get back to that. Um, oh, what happened there? I'm gonna have to, was that always there like that? I'll have to look at that later. Um, okay, so now we have our big black background. It's 23 inches by 43 inches. So it's really, really big. Let me move the hair out of the way. Now, I worked with another designer and told her, you know, I always do off the mat. So on Creative Fabrica, she's selling this grid for a dollar. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, okay? So first, let's go over here. Let's go to Creative Fabrica so you can see her. And the reason why is, I don't know why I never done this before, but it's so nice to have it as an SVG file. I'm gonna show you, watch. Um, so let's look up straws. No wait, sticks, bricks, and straws, I think. Are you kidding me? It won't show. <laughs> Um, sorry. All right, my favorites. Let's go to my favorites. Oh, straw, sticks, and bricks. <laughs> I know. It's the little pig story, and I can't figure it out. It's called the grid of squares, okay, for off the mat. So it's a dollar, like I said, and this is what it comes in as. So when I go to upload, I'm going to view all, and it's already prepped for me to start slicing the big background. So it is, here it is. So there's a nine, a three by three, and then a four by four. So 16 squares. So I'm gonna insert the image. So it's so nice, because then you don't have to build them each time. If you need to build it, I will reference another video for you to, to watch it. But going forward, I'm just gonna use this grid because it's so fast. All right, so it's already here for us, right? All you need to do is, we're still gonna do it the way I like to. Oh my gosh, come on. We're so close, I just need it to work. Okay, so you want to go to your position and put whole numbers. So I'm going to change this to 4 um, and 11. So that means it's going to be 4 units over 11 units down, okay? Then scroll down, grab your, you know, our big black background, arrange, and send to the front. So now we're ready to slice me up <laughs> so we could do something like this um something like this this will not be a big deal because we're going to have the this piece sitting on top of it so we're not going to really see it but so what you then do is you take your grid and you ungroup it and we can get rid of a lot of these squares right so we can get rid of this one, you can just delete all the ones that are not touching anything. And then for the legs, I think we can even get that to fit on one. And the reason why I want you to round it to the nearest whole number, oh shoot, let me undo that. Round it to the nearest whole number is then all of these squares are gonna be on a whole number. So for instance, watch this. When we go to move this one, oops. Hold on, let me move this to the back real quick. Arrange, send to the back. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it over like, oh my gosh, my mouse, it's dying. I'm sorry, we're almost there. I'm gonna move this over and then I can just go and round. So this is 32 and 44 and it will still give me um, a really 
good slice, right? Like everything's still flushed. Um, I want to bring my background back to the front, arrange, send to the front. Okay, and I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Okay, so this is gonna cut out one piece. The, these are all big pieces. And in fact, we can then move this one, get rid of that one, move this up, right? Oh my gosh, come on, we're almost at the end of the video. We're almost there. All right, then same thing with this one, 15 and 23. Oops, maybe 24, 25, 26, there. All right, now we're gonna slice one square at a time with the image. So we're gonna grab these two and slice. So now you'll see, instead of a 43 inch black piece of background, we're now breaking it up into pieces that we can cut. This you can delete, we don't need that. But see this little piece is perfect. Now we're gonna grab these two and slice. You're gonna slice all the way around and then you're gonna go to cut it. That's it, all right, I'm gonna go before my mouse just dies on me. I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna piece it together so that you can do this for your party props. I think this is so, I mean, it's such a cool idea. You can get it for your kids. It could be a graduation, party, retirement, whatever it is. It's reasonably priced. The colors are gonna pop because you're gonna use your cardstock and it's gonna make a great photo prop because you know everything photos really, really well. All right, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for joining. Post your comments. I will see you next time. Bye. Oh man, will my mouse be able? Okay. See you. <laughs>